How's it going everyone? In today's video we're going to be talking about a crazy concept in Python called name mangling. And to demonstrate how it works, we're going to immediately create an example. But first of all, I'm going to import from UUID, UUID4. And right below that, we're going to create a class called account, because we want to pretend that we are working with bank accounts. Then inside, we can create an initializer, which is going to take self and a name of type string so that we can name our accounts. Inside the init, we'll type in self.name is equal to name. Then we're going to type in self underscore underscore id is equal to f and we're going to type in account as the prefix followed by the uuid so each time we create a new account we're going to get a special id for that account but here i decided to make id private by using name mangling this essentially means we can only use it in the current class which is great because we don't want anyone that's using this class to be able to access ID directly. We only want them to be able to access it via a getter. So here we'll type in show ID, and that's going to return none. Then we will print self dot underscore underscore ID. And right below that, we're going to create our if name is equal to main check so that we can start using this code. And the very first thing I want to do is create an account of type account, which will equal this account called savings. And right below that, we can type in account.showID, just to show you what it looks like. And when we run our script, you'll see that we will get back the account ID. But what will not work is printing the ID directly. We cannot just type in print, pass in account.underscore.id. Even if your code editor might suggest it, it's not going to work. You're going to get an attribute error that account has no attribute underscore underscore ID. And that's because Python performed some little magic called name mangling. And all that means is that Python changed the name of the attribute, which made it much harder for us to access it. Or not much harder, but we would have to type in underscore, followed by the class name, followed by the attribute name. Our code editor wouldn't really understand where we're getting this from because we did not declare this anywhere in our script. But Python created this under the hood as an alias to that attribute. So now if we were to run the script, you would notice that by using this crazy name, we could access the underscore underscore ID attribute. And previously I said that we did this to mark it as private, but nothing's truly private in Python. Of course you can use it as a private variable because it's quite hard to access and any developer who goes through the trouble of doing this is obviously fighting against the will of the person who wrote this code. So using it to create private attributes or methods is one option but was not the reason it was created. The main purpose of name mangling was to prevent name clashes. So let's take a look at a solid example where this helps with preventing name clashes. So for now, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to remove the double underscore from ID because first I want to show you what happens if we do not use name mangling. And with that, we should create a subclass called savings account, and this will inherit from account. Then we can create our initializer, which will take a super init so that we can instantiate the parent class. And just like with the account, we're going to want to give our savings account a special ID, which I will refer to as savings followed by the UUID. I want this to be different than the account, but I want to also maintain the same name. Now we're also going to copy the show ID method, but I'm going to call it show savings ID to make it more specific to the savings account. And also I should change the main account to be called show account ID. So basically everyone's going to have an account, whether you create a normal account or a savings account, everyone's going to have a regular account as the parent account. And then something such as a savings account is going to be something that comes under the main account. Now, I don't know if this is how a banking system actually works. That's not the point. The point is that we want to use the same variable name for different purposes. So let's go to our main entry point and type in that the savings account of type savings account is equal to savings account. And we will call it Bob's savings. Then we will try to show the main account ID by typing in savings show account ID and savings show savings ID. Now, when we run this, what you're going to notice is that we're only going to get the savings ID back. 
And that's because we created a new ID with the exact same name from earlier. We are overriding the original ID, which we used in our main account. And that means that both accounts are going to output the exact same ID. And that's quite silly because we want our main account ID to be different than our savings ID. So that's where name mangling comes in. Going back to our main account, we can add two underscores to ID. And this fixes the problem because we can use the same name that we wanted, but it will not be confused with the other ID. So now when we run our script, what we should get back are two different IDs, one for the account and one for the savings. And this also works inside here in case you want to subclass the savings account. Now, if we were to run it, we would still have separate IDs because both of these IDs have had their names mangled. But once again, none of these attributes are private. You can use them as private, but they are not truly private. You can still access them with the funny syntax of not promote, I don't even know what that is, print savings underscore savings account underscore underscore ID. Uh, what is type shed? Oh, you bastard. You imported something I did not want. Anyway, going back down, let's run this and what we should get savings underscore is still an error because this is supposed to be dot notation. So savings dot underscore savings account underscore underscore ID. And what we're going to get back is our savings account. It's not truly private, just the name has been mangled. And to get the account ID back, we can also remove savings and that will give us back the account ID. But yeah, that just about covers everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Do let me know in the comment section down below whether you have any other questions regarding name mangling in Python. But otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.